All right, we got this deer that I can link. Uh, it's in the repository. You'll download the zip file. You'll open up the folder until you see deer, and you'll copy that to your clipboard. Then you'll go to vehicles, and you'll paste it in there like that. Now, it can't be in there and in the mod folder, so but you wouldn't have it in the mod folder because you downloaded it. That's just where I had it stored. All right, now we'll load Blender and we'll import in the J-Beam of the deer. We'll delete that stuff. We'll import in J-Beam. And in the vehicles section, deer, deer, J-Beam. What part? Well, there's luckily only one part. And there's our deer. Doesn't look like a deer, but it is. Now, we need to import it into DAE, the actual part you see of the deer. So, import DAE. I should have, I'll start naming my stuff. I haven't been naming it. But, that's it. See a little tongue right there, and that's a J-beam for the tongue, and, yeah, there's a lot of, lot of parts. Now, keep in mind, there's a lot of meshes, flex bodies, that make up this one. Not just one thing like a can, uh, but a lot. Remember, the baller had two parts to it. This thing's got a lot of parts, because each part, well, these are all the parts that break. But don't worry about all that. You just gonna hit A and select all. And then you're gonna scale it all up like that. Or down. Whatever you wanna do. Now you got to save the J beam. Damn it. It's the second time I said that wrong. You got to save the blender file in there with it. Well you don't have to, I don't believe. You may be a good idea to save it in there. Uh, there's already one in there. Uh, just make another one. I may be mistelling you. You may not have to save the J-Beam at all. I think you do. I think you're going to try to export the J-Beam. It's going to tell you. See the J-Beam for the deer? It's going to tell you. You must save your Blender file first. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. So It wouldn't even do that. Give you. It would pop up. You must save your blender file first. That's why we had to save our blender file. Now we're just overriding the deer that's in there with that deer. Now, to make life easier, just delete the damn J-beam. Right? And then the rest of it, which is the remaining bit, the model, actually, the rest of the model. I didn't apply all transforms. I don't know if you have to actually. So export DAE, overwrite the deer DAE that's in there, and yes, I'll start naming stuff. All that stuff's going since I deleted the J beam out of there. Now we should be able to load our deer in the game, and it should be a very big deer. Should be pretty easy. It probably, probably is now. It's like I said, you're not going to be doing this with an entire car. There's so many parts, and there's so many J-beams that make up one car. It's not just one J-beam like this deer. It's a lot of parts. And keep in mind, when you scale things and make them bigger, what used to work for certain spring strengths and dampings and all that, well, your physics may just break now. Just keep that in mind. I can't tell if he's bigger or smaller, to be honest with you. I thought I scaled him up. I scaled him up. He just ain't that much. I didn't scale him very big. Yeah, I didn't make him a real big one. I'm trying to get my controller to turn on. Stand up there, boy. Put them right here. I made this thing so he could take a step or two. Hitting the
brake pedal makes him turn his head but see all this stuff you know he's bigger now so he's got I probably should do more adjusting Let me spawn a car. I don't know if I it's actually. Yeah, hell yeah, he's bigger. Cause that's the damn road right there. Let's scale him even larger. All right, let's start over. Maybe you missed it the first time. So we will import in. We'll delete this stuff first. We'll import in the Deer D A E and its J Beam. It doesn't matter which one you import in first. Import in the J Beam. Now we'll import in the D A E. Now, we'll select it all and scale it up. Now, we're only sending the Deer J-Beam back now, so we go first save the Blender file, which I already saved it in there, but I'm going to resave it so it don't bug me again with that save Blender file first. Now, we're going to export the J-Beam into there. Overwrite that one with that one. Now, we're going to delete that J-Beam and delete that folder and the rest of it. We're going to overwrite the DAE with the rest of it. That's the model. And in the game, we get a big deer. A big deer. the game. Come on you, get your butt over here. Alright, yeah, I probably ain't got the reference nodes right on this one either. Mm, probably don't. That ain't something I used to put a lot of effort into working on, to be honest with you. Where's his eyeball? I don't know. That's it for this one.